Okay. I think the mom's telling us to leave. Have a good day. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Hello there, this is Brian, and here is Maverick, and welcome to another one of our outdoor adventures. Well, good morning, everybody. Today is October 1st, and we're going on a hike of the Horsham Powerline Trail. And as you can see, it's a lovely, rainy morning. Um, this is a hurricane came through Florida. We're just getting a little bit of a remnant. It's not too bad here, but uh, not to stop us from hiking. Um, this is actually our first time on this trail. Come on, Matt. Let's stay on the trail. Uh, my understanding is basically it's an out and back trail, relatively straight. As you can see, it starts out paved. Uh, we'll see if it stays paved or if it uh, changes over a little bit. Apologize if this is going to probably water up as I go because it's that misty rain, which cameras do not like. Anyway, uh, my understanding it's uh, total, it's about eight miles in and out. There's a couple um, parks over here that it connects to. Uh, so we see how that is as well. And I'm um, going to enjoy this little hike. So before we get started, let's go ahead and click like and subscribe if you haven't already. It really does help out the channel. And uh, let's start our little hiking adventure. Now, as you know, one of my favorite times to actually go hiking is in the rain. A couple reasons why. Number one, um, it, uh, you know, I find you don't have to carry as much water. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's raining. Is it just tells your body you don't need as much water. So I can usually go a little bit lighter than I normally do. Maverick, come on. And um, second reason, there's not a lot of people on the trail. Um, I mean, I'm not saying, you know, there's a lot of people that do go hiking in, in the rain. Um, but overall, not many people so you kind of get the trail more to yourself and because of that reason too you tend to see more wildlife i think as long as you're paying attention now a lot of times what you find is they're going to be off obviously taking shelter um but if it's a light rain usually sometimes they don't even let that affect them heavy rain they'll take more more likely to take shelter and there's just there's something calming about hiking in the rain so as I mentioned, this is a, it's a Horsham Powerline Trail. Uh, this is in Horsham, Pennsylvania, which is a nice little town in the eastern, southeastern part of Pennsylvania. I believe it straddles, I think this is in Montgomery County, but it's toward the middle between Montgomery and Bucks County. Where it's October 1st, so we're in the beginning of our fall weather. It's probably around 55 degrees outside. So a little chilly, but not too cold. I'm gonna see how that goes. Now I did read online that it is steep up here at the end and it's a, it's a gradual downhill. So I'm sure it's gonna be fun, pretty easy going at first, but of course, eventually it's gonna be, oh, it's gonna be so much fun not coming back uphill. So that should be a interesting little guy. Come on, Matt, let's stay on the trail, buddy. He is too, he's rambunctious this morning. All right, so let's go uh, get moving here. So we definitely are getting some water. Now, this is my first, first time seeing it, so I can't judge it, but Oh, this does not look like normal, so looks like we have a lot more rain and water coming through here. So, neat little creek. Be interesting to see if there's any trails that go off there as we go along here. I don't see any, though. It's interesting because this park is basically nestled in a suburb, so if I go that way or probably that way, I'm going to start hitting houses and everything else.
these are relatively eh, still it used to be country when, when i grew up in this area it used to be all country area and it's developed over the years but um it's still nice though looks like it dips down a little bit then comes back up we did pass a jogger this is a wildlife refuge area looks actually like there is a little trail back here that you can take it's a little overgrown this actually might connect to a park i saw on the uh, all trails map there is there is a park in here that has tons of like little trails might be actually good for like little family adventures and whatnot so i don't know if this is a newer trail i mean just judging by the walking path here this is almost looks brand spanking new um i imagine part of this too is obviously not just for the trail but also if they have to maintain these power lines here too And we have, uh, looks like a little bit of a watershed here. This is a great time of the year too, to go hiking. You're still getting some bugs, not as many, um, as things start, wind, things start winding down. The only downside of uh, hiking, well, there's a lot of downsides of hiking in the summer. Um, if you listen to my other hikes, I think summer actually might be my least favorite time to go hiking. Uh, it gets hot, it gets muggy sometimes, depending where you're at. Uh, the bugs are in uh, full activity, which uh, is not fun. When you can wear as much protection, I don't know if you can see that. Over there, let me so clean off the camera just a little bit. Off on the side here, there's a cardinal. Let's see if I can get him. Uh, you might be able to see it from here. Do you see, if you look all the way right over there, there's a little red cardinal. I think I actually see another one up in the tree over there too. Uh, these are pretty plentiful in this area. I see cardinals all the time. Yeah, it looks like it's a pair. I think the female cardinals actually are, they may not be red because I think they tend to be more of a brownish red. Where the males I think are the full bloom, what we consider, a, you know, quote, traditional cardinal in the red. Beautiful little birds though. Nice songbirds too. We got something coming up here on the left. Not sure what this is. Uh, you know what? This actually is a um, electric fence. So either must be a farm maybe that comes out here, or this could actually be a wildlife center, keeping people out to go either way. Yeah, looks like somebody's property. I think. neat though isn't it so I can and again sorry about the rain it's not the friendliest thing for my GoPro it's a shake it's not really raining very much at all it's just like that mist it tends to get in your camera it's pretty neat though Matt be careful with these wires don't want to get too close because that's that's not what you want to touch it's pretty though could be a community garden or something, maybe too. It's pretty. I don't know if this is a complaint, just a little observation about this uh, trail so far. So far, well, it's flat, so if you're looking for something more rugged, obviously this is not going to be it. I tend to actually go on these trails more. Um, than the more rigorous ones in the rain. Um, just because 
not so much the difficulty of climbing through uh, more of a moderate or difficult uh, trail in the rain, but actually just the mud. We get so much mud in this area. And I, I don't, I mean, don't worry, I don't mind the mud as much as my Jeep. But if I'm actually gonna walk through it, uh, no, no. That alone, buddy. Uh, yeah, I, I don't wanna, you know, lose a shoe in the mud or something like that, so. Alright, so just crossed, uh, I think it's Lime Kiln Pike back there. Um, I think it's also known as 152 in this area. And I guess Calder Park is more of a soccer field area than an actual traditional park. So, I imagine if it was not raining today, it would probably be mobbed. It's a Saturday, so it's probably be mobbed with lots of soccer games and all that kind of stuff. Not sure about the rest of the area, but I know in this region, we generally have baseball in the spring and soccer in the fall. Or uh, I guess what you call football over in England for our UK viewers. It's a pretty straight up park, nothing really crazy. We saw a couple of birds here and there. I saw um, while we were on the time lapse there, a uh, blue jay and another cardinal. I do hear traffic in the background, so it's not the most serene. This actually might be a half decent uh, trail for a bike or an e-bike so i guess relatively short eight miles you probably go through that back and forth pretty quick probably a 20 minute ride maybe um i find probably 30 minutes so it depends i know my hyper bike i think max is at around 20. Uh, I've seen some that are borderline mopeds or scooters doing up to 30 to 35. It's really well maintained though, I'll say that. You've had it, we got here right after, whoa, don't do that, Maverick, come on. Buddy, what are you doing? See, sometimes what he'll do, <laughs> I think he does this on purpose. Huskies, you know, they're great hiking partners, but they're kind of independent. They do their own thing. And he's uh, really well disciplined for a Husky. Um, but I think a lot of dogs do this. They'll go and, you know, they'll extend their leash out until they find something interesting. They'll stop, realize they fell behind, and then go rushing back ahead. Here, Matt, come on, slow down. You're, you're leaving the pack, buddy. Come on. You're leaving the pack. What are you doing? Yeah, come on. Sorry, Dad. Anyway, um, it is a lot of road noise, I'll tell you. I don't know. There's just like a lot of tuner cars or motors. I mean, it can't be motorcycles out today. I mean, there are some probably. I mean, I'd ride my motorcycle in this, but most people wouldn't. So maybe just like a lot of rumbling tuner type cars, I guess. Or maybe it's just the. The terrain here, I don't know, amplifies the sound. Interesting. <sighs> October is a great month, though. You, know, you have uh, obviously Halloween at the end. Um, 
the first couple of days here. We're going to finish up with Oktoberfest if uh, you're into that. It's interesting being, um, I, I went to Munich or München as it's called in Germany. Um, I think it was 2016. And I went actually the week after Oktoberfest uh, purposely. I thought about going to Oktoberfest, but I was actually in Paris the week before. Uh, you know, I like festivities and festivals, but I just don't like huge crowds. Anyway, I went there and of course, you know, still a lot of stuff was actually happening that carried over. But what I didn't realize is that, you know, I guess as a, an American, I hear Oktoberfest, I think that actually is a celebration in October. And actually it turns out Oktoberfest traditionally, I think it was a celebration of one of their king's marriages or prince's marriages. And there was like a three or four or five, like a multi-day festival. I don't know if it was a week long, but it ended, I believe on October 1st. And then it got pushed out a couple days. And then uh, to where it is right now, which I think it ends, is it the fifth or the sixth? I'll have to look that up later. Um, but it actually ends at the very beginning of October. Which is uh, interesting. Clear the lens a little bit. There is a. You see that there's like a little horse farm. It looks like there's maybe a pony out there too. I don't know if you can see that. That's neat. It looks like there's a little in trail that leads into here. Maybe you're from the uh, Kohler Park. There's a blue jay. That's that's the sound of a blue jay there. <laughs> Pepper hates the sound of these birds. Now she exaggerates it. She'll be like, they go caca. I'm like, no, they don't go caca. I love blue jays there. It's one of, like, one of my favorite birds. Interesting, they're in the same family as crows, actually. I didn't realize that. And ravens. I forget where I read that. It's interesting though. Looks like someone, this was just a makeshift trail by somebody. Slow down. Yeah, some type of hawk or something up there, I think. Could be an owl. Could just be a... No, it's definitely some type of predator. I don't know if you can see it. It's up on the pole up there. Let me get the lens a little bit. Maybe we can see as we get closer. It's uh, one, two, three, four electric lines down. Let's see, it's on the top over there. Definitely some type of hawk. Maverick, stop. Stop. Let's see if we can get a, at least a picture with the phone. Oh, there he goes. Going. Maybe he sees something. Oh, he does. He sees a bunny or something down there. Ah, oh, there's a squirrel. So he's up in the tree over there now. Yeah. 
hear the crow circling. Oh, there he goes again. He's coming back. He's up. It's the interesting thing about crows is they're really smart. If they see a predator like this, I've seen them where they'll try to circle and chase him off uh, to protect their group. It's really interesting how they work together. And again, they are like some of the smartest birds on the planet, so. Actually, one of the smartest animals on the planet. the crow or ravens talking over them see it's interesting if you listen to them you can hear a similarity in their in their call between that and a uh, a blue jay obviously blue jay is a little bit shorter a little bit more high pitched where a crow generally is larger it's a little bit more baritone a little storm drain here Nice little woods. Uh, the trail's getting a little better. All right, so we just uh, took a quick little pit spot. Yeah, come here, buddy. Quick little pit spot here, or pit stop, um, in this little park we've got along the trail here. Uh, change our batteries over, our GoPro, we're back on the trail. Found a deer up here. I was waiting for our first deer. I'm surprised it took this long to find one. It's off there on this side. Maverick, no. Come here. I'm gonna scare the little deer. I wonder how close she'll let us get. I don't think she sees him yet. Yeah, it looks like there's a baby too. Mom might be a mother and a fawn. Uh, we're not being aggressive. So. Hi. There's one back over there too, the really best. Oh, there goes the little one. Okay. I think the mom's telling us to leave. Have a good day. Have a good day. Bye-bye. That was interesting. So we've seen some hawk, we've seen some crows, cardinals, some blue jays. We saw some deer, a little deer family.
Well, we pretty much reached the end of the trail here. This is uh, one of the pickup points of the park. There's another one up there. Um, so I guess we're gonna head back. Um, eh, nice walk. I, I don't know if I'd come, come here again. But uh, overall, it's pretty, it was nice. We saw some cool things, which was cool. So let's go ahead and head back to the Ocean Powerline Trail. Okay, come on, buddy. And that's gonna, I think that's gonna finish up our hike of the Horsham Powerline Trail. Uh, went the length, it's a out and back trail, about eight miles total. Uh, nice trail in parts. Other parts, it's a bit of suburbia. Um, paved all the way, so definitely an easy trail. No real obstacles or issues. Started out raining, actually it's pretty nice now. Um, so, uh, actually turned out into a nice little hike. And of course, it's always good to get outside. We saw some cool stuff. We saw some birds, we saw a hawk, um, we saw some deer. And we saw a couple of puppers along the way. Maverick had a good time. And we hope you did as well coming along with us. Now, if you did like this, please click like and subscribe for future content. It really does help out the channel. And um, we try to upload as often as we can while working a busy full-time schedule, of course. So we do hope to see you in a future video. Come on, buddy. And until we do, get out there and make your own great outdoor adventures. And as always, take care. Come on, buddy. Up, 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 up. Come on. Good boy. Good boy.